Hey guys, welcome back to Crafty Wife's channel. On today's video, I'll show you how to make an easy and delicious banana pudding recipe. Here are your ingredients you'll need. I'll be using a Pyrex container to plate my banana pudding in. You'll need artificial jello banana cream pudding. You'll also need three bananas or as many bananas as you would like. I bought this jello banana pudding from Walmart. You'll need two cups of milk and you'll also need one can of sweetened condensed milk, lechera and you will also need two boxes of vanilla wafers and you will also need one can of whipped cream and of course your bananas. Okay, let's get started. Adding two cups of milk and this is my bowl from my stand mixer. I'll add in one packet of the banana cream jello. So I'm adding in the whole packet. We're going to take this to the stand mix and we're going to mix it. you don't have a stand mixer, you can also use a whisk. You can just whisk it, whisk it up. Okay, now when you see it's gotten thick, you're going, you're going to add in your lechera, and I'm going to add in the whole can of lechera. Bump in all of the lechera. I scooped out the remaining with my little tiny spatula. Now we are going to mix once again or you can whisk it. Turn it off. Remove my whisk. We're going to take this over here. And we're going to add in our whipped cream. Open this. You make sure that it stays refrigerated so it won't melt. Now just shake it. I'm going to add in probably about a half of this of this whipped cream. To fold in the now we're going to fold in the whipped cream just like this, just fold it in. Okay, so now that all of my pudding is nice and when it's creamy. Okay, so now we are going to start layering. This is our first layer, which is the vanilla wafers at the bottom, and then you go in with your banana slices, and then you coat it with your banana pudding that we made, and then you repeat the same steps. For this entire process, you will need at least two boxes of vanilla wafers,
guys. So, so this is the end result. You just add your vanilla wafer crumbs over the top in the middle or plate it how you want to plate it. Now I'm going to refrigerate and cover for at least three hours. <laughs> 